six. Seven. Ah, open. Okay, we will enter this later. Let's move first up and see what we will find. We find golems. Golem. Did you know that golems are Jewish mon monster? I think it's pretty neat. Crypt of the Children, I guess we can pick the lock? Yes, of course we can. I didn't know there are separate crypt for children. Okay, compared to the last level, this seems to be really easy <laughs> for now. I hope it stays like this. At least not as hard as the last level. Oh, terrible. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Oh, gold plate, which is useless. Okay, Warhammer, Squall of Summon Insects, because a cleric died here. And in his final death, he put all his stuff in the chest. Ah, I don't think anyone died here. <laughs> yeah, more golems. Now it's kind of like a chore again. I just move in and oh, golem, oh, golem dead. Killer golem, one more golem, here's a golem, there's a golem. Pick up Harakiri shield. Minus 11. Hello? Okay. A falcon of great grace and beauty. It might almost have a personality of its own. As if the artist were depicting one creature in particular and not war birds in general. Okay, he wanted to show us a bird. What's this? Gold ink key. Mm. Shall we try the whistle? I mean, some birds are called by whistles and stuff. Okay, I have to use it more than once. The image has come alive! How beautiful! If I'm not mistaken, yes, a falcon! Often prized as trained hunters, the companions of brave men. Kiata! Erkra! Kla! By the gods it speaks, yet it is no language I understand. How wondrous. Of course. Kiata Erkla. Okay. Uh, do you have speak to animals still memorized? Yes. Whistle, whistle. The call, the call, the whistle sounds, and I awake. Where, where are you, my master? From where have you called? Oh, it's the falcon of the guardian of the guard who of Anctipod. We read about this. We have called you, beautiful one. The golden whistle is in our possession. You are not my master. No, the whistle you have. My heart is my own. Oh, my master. 
How have I waited for your call? Oh, my master, do you honor still the old wa Yao? The old Yao? What mission of honor does your master follow? As I am a bird of war, so my master followed the ways of battle so long ago. He was a hero, my master, a true warrior. When they spoke of the greatest soldier in all the land, it was of him they spoke. In time, the pharaoh rewarded him. My master joined the royal guard. He swore to protect the pharaoh with his life, and yet, and yet he failed. Did he die in the service of Enctopod? No, my master suffered not a single wound. The great priest of Ra, the hero friend, made his way past my master. With the stealth of a shadow, with the silence of night, the hero friend stepped within the royal chambers. Anctopod met his fate at the fall of the hero friend's blade. Your master must have felt great shame at his failure to protect Anctopod. Shame? Great shame! Yet my master swore that, if he could not guard Anctopod in life, he would do so in death. He sacrificed his heart, the vessel of his spirit and soul, cast it into the desert. Forever now, my master guards the way to Anctopod's burial chamber. He is but a stony shadow of himself. As was I, none shall pass that way, now or ever, until the heart of my master is once again returned to him. We have read some of the history of which you speak. Can nothing beyond the heart of your master open the door he guards? No, only my master's heart shall free him from the death he owes his war. Only its return can release him from the service to this evil lord. Once the hurt rests again within him, he shall be free, free to pass beyond the gate of the dead, and me with him. You said your master's heart was cast in the desert, in such heat and wind blown sand. How might it be found? It would take the eyes of... of... Yes! It would take the eyes of a hawk or a falcon! Thank you for freeing me from the stone! My friend, how I might sour again, feel the heat of the desert beneath my wings, turn high in rising air. I shall climb above the yellow sands, where nothing can escape my sight. Somewhere among the lizards, among the insects, among the turning tides of sand, I shall find it. If you return with your master's heart, beautiful one, how will you restore it to him? I depend on you. Having freed me from the stone, having heard the tale of my faithful master, you will help. I know you will. Place the heart in that space from which it has been torn. Free my master from his art oath to Anctopod. Okay, this is a kind of strange cutscene. What measure some people to? I mean, come on, he whipped his heart out because he could not protect his master, and so. Mm? <laughs> Remember, kids, whipping your heart out is not a good advice. Huh? Okay. So we got the heart. He was heart. Ew. One second. Okay, we will do one more video. And then I will pause this part and then we will finish Ravenloft next time we meet. Okay, but we can now go down again and...